Hello and welcome to the Vivocha Instant Messaging Client Tutorial. My name is Michael and I will be using my personal site as an example. Instant Messaging Clients can be used to communicate with your customers just like on the Vivocha console. In this tutorial I will be using Adium, but Vivocha supports many XMPP or Jabber chat clients such as Trillion, Messages on Mac, and Pigeon. You can find out more information on the other clients in our documentation. The first thing you need to do is to add your Vivocha account to Adium. You can do this by clicking on File, Add Account, and select XMPP. For your Jabber ID, simply enter your username at chat.vivocha.com. If you have more than one agent, your Jabber ID may be different please look at our documentation to find out further details. After you've entered your ID, insert your password and click OK. As you can see, I am now online. If I refresh my page, my widgets will now appear. Click on a widget to start a chat. When a visitor tries to start a chat, the agent will receive a notification saying the user the country, how long they've been on the site, the name of the page they're on, along with how many pages they've visited and previous visits and contacts. To accept the chat, simply send a message. It will accept the chat automatically. You can communicate with your customers just like you do on the Vivocha console. If your visitor moves to another page, the agent will receive a notification saying which page they've moved to. The agent can also send them to a specific page by using the command exclamation point, push, space, and then the URL. It will automatically push the customer to that page. There are several other helpful tricks that you can use on the chat clients. To find out all of the commands, type exclamation mark, help, and enter. It will show you all of the different commands for the chat client. As you can see, the first three commands are transfers. You can transfer the visitor back to the waiting section of the Vivocha console, to a specific agent, or to a group of tagged agents. There are two different ways to close the chat. Either the customer can close the chat themselves, or you can forcefully close the chat by typing exclamation mark, close, enter. It will close the chat. This is the end of the Instant Messaging Client tutorial. Please make sure to check out our other tutorial videos if you need more help.